Hello everyone, my name is Yuki, and you're probably wondering why I have this scan of a right leg on my screen. Well, today we are going to create a custom shin guard only using this right leg in end topology. So first to define my shin guard, I took three planes to define the top, bottom, and rear side of my shin guard. And using the Boolean intersect, I am able to cut out a mold, a part of my leg, to define where my shin guard is going to be. And now using fields, just like this and showing the contour interval of this part. So I have currently have the contour interval of four set. It's going to create these line intervals of four millimeters from the boundary and from each other. So it's going to go from four, eight, 12, 16. So, and I can use this to offset the body. So right now I have my leg cut out over here. It's perfectly lines up at the boundary, but if I wanted to offset the body or give my shin guard a thickness of four millimeters, it's gonna use that field value over here of four millimeters and it's gonna offset that body up to that. And because we're using implicit modeling, it is able to create that very easily. So now with that offsetted body, I can take my right leg and then with the Boolean subtract, I can cut away that extra material that you saw. And now I have this nice solid shin guard over here. Now, if I wanted to change my shin guard thickness, currently it's set at four millimeters, but if I wanted to change this to something like 12, you can easily do that by just changing that value, and it's going to create my new thickened shin guard. But for now, I'm going to keep it at four millimeters for now. And also, you'll notice I have a blist blend radius over here. Wherever that right leg, whenever that right leg cut off that extra material, you're going to notice these sharp edges over here. And I can easily round those out by just simply giving a value of maybe something like four. And that's going to round those so we can avoid any cuts to our legs when we put on our shin guard. Now, with our solid shin guard over here, I want to lightweight it. So I first define the rims of that shin guard, and I also define the design space or where I want the area where I can lattice when lightweighting this part. So in this surface hex block that I have over here, I created a Voronoi volume lattice in those areas. I then use the rib lattice from beams, and then I thicken that body to get this lattice structure. Now with this lattice, I took my design space and I used these lattices to cut out that design space to create this really, these floating hexes on my shin guard. And now using these floating hexes, I once again subtracted it from the design space to create this nice Voronoi lattice on my shin guard. And now with that, I also added some surface texturing, a really small thin, uh, Voronoi lattice on top of the lattice below that. And then I can Boolean union all of that together to create my final shin guard over here. And lastly, we all, we want to be able, we want a smooth surface over here. So I also added a plastic cover and now we have a shin guard ready to be used. So we're not done yet. So I have our original shin guard that I just created. And you'll notice that these hexes are pretty equal in size and spaced out very equally as well. But maybe I want to change up the lattice structure over here. I want some areas to be more dense and some areas to be less dense. So this is where we start using fields to drive our design. So I can take, for example, a plane over here and place it at the bottom. And I said, giving some conditions using this ramp block, I said, I want my lattices to be less dense, closer to the plane. And the further away I go from it, I want my lattices to be more dense. And by simply giving that condition, I'm able to create a different shin guard over here where I applies those conditions and creates a new lattice structure on my shin guard. Now, if I wanted to change that up, maybe I want the complete opposite of this, I'm able to just change some values and create this new shin guard over here. Now, when you're playing soccer, or for example, if you're using shin guards for soccer, most of the point of contact will probably be within the middle of that. And I can simply create a shin guard just following those rules by using just a field of a cylinder, for example. So I place the cylinder right in front of the shin guard. I said closest to the cylinder, I want my lattices to be denser. And the further away from it, I want my lattices to be less dense. Now, lastly, I did one more different type of design variation over here. I said, I want my lattices to be denser, closer, that are closer to the rim, because I used the field of a rim to drive the design of the lattice. And then the further away from the rim of the shin guard, my lattices are less dense. So I was able to create five different shin guards just by changing the field that I used 
and some values that I input over here. So yeah, this is the power of implicit modeling and the power of using fields and end topology. So I can create many different design variations by just changing a couple of inputs over here. If you're curious about anything at end topology, set up a few minutes with us and a demo to get your questions answered. Go to endtopology.com, click on get a demo, and simply fill out the form to speak with an NTOP expert. If you're an existing user and want to dig deeper, feel free to check out support.endtopology.com to access our help center.